so long. There you go, you hear that noise. Not used to that with Tesla, I don't have to wait. But this thing is so bulky, unwieldy. See how this pilot assist works here at night now. It's a relatively straight road. I can feel the wheel. I don't know if you can see it moving, but I can feel it kind of jiggling. I'm going under the speed limit right now. Now I'm going 70. All right, I'm having trouble again. I cannot get pilot assist to go on with the auto steer. The steering, I guess it's just, just too much rain for it. You get to a certain point and it just will not turn on. It's not even that bad. I mean, it's not great. I'm behind a truck, but still I can see, I mean, it's total night. Maybe it's just worse at night again than it is even in low light conditions or when the sun's out, I've noticed that. So it may just be because it's at night it's going to have a lower threshold. It, it won't go on now. Not with the steering. There's a cruise control, but no steering. Nope. All right, rain has slowed down. The system's back on. It's working. It's just the amount of rain. Because it's night, we're taking turns. Still not doing that great a job around turns, but it's working. So it's just more sensitive in low light conditions, more sensitive in rain. It just doesn't want to turn on. It's something I really almost never have experienced with autopilot unless it's torrential, torrential rain and nothing, no difference between day and night on autopilot. All right, we're in Virginia and almost back.